get it. Look at her, crouching like a beagle, sniffing for a bug. I got it. I got your present. Oh, personal. This is Peanut. <laughs> she looks and smells like a marathon runner <laughs> post-race. I'm waiting for her to keel over. Oh, not a masochist, darling. She makes me sick. She looks like my mother. She doesn't look like a mover. She was alone. Her feet had dangled from the bar stool while she ordered a drink. Her eyebrows were delicate arches I wanted to walk through. It takes only one drink for her to find me entertaining enough to follow home. Perhaps the veterinary tranquilizer I slipped in her Long Island iced tea was unnecessary. She is so peaceful and innocent, I almost rethink my decision. Almost. I'm not an asshole. It's padded. It's just to make her easier to carry. No, not her mouth. I would be upset if she were to die from suffocation or choking on her vomit. I would never want anyone to die in my trunk, actually. It already smells. A pair of scissors, some rope, for when I feel like being dramatic, and a box of condoms. decide where to take her. There's the ditch by the highway, but I left some poor piggish thing there last Friday. Then there's the bridge that the trains run beneath, but I always found that spot too frightening. The loud roar of the trains makes my stomach acid surge. I hate to think about how these girls feel when they wake up to the thundering roll of death with that ominous ball of light like the 
fist of God. Maybe the playground. I always like the playground. Can you give me a ride to the playground tomorrow? I promised my friend Tommy we would see Mom? Is everything okay? Mom? Is everything okay, Mom? No. Lenny. Mom is... I'm not okay. Later that night, I wonder if she's been here before, maybe with her mother, maybe as a child, maybe even with her child. I will sit with her until the sun starts to rise and I know she will be safe. When she awakens, she will be confused, followed by a surge of adrenaline laced with barbed fear as she catches sight of her buttonless shirt, her belt beside her. More questions will bubble in her brain when she realizes the nature of the slippery item she holds in her hand. She will go to the hospital fearing rape, but they will find no evidence of it. Other than the rock slide headache she will have, there will be nothing wrong with her. The only explanation to calm the confusion will be, this is a miracle. She will start to be more careful. She will guard her drink. She will not live recklessly any longer. She will never go home with a stranger. And she will never bring a child into this world who serves only as a reminder of how ugly she makes herself. And she will not have that child to, in turn, make ugly. 
and I will go back to my house and stare into my bathroom mirror.